Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about the latest beta for Samsung One UI running on a Samsung Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus. Now, I'm not exactly sure what number beta this is. It could be four or five. I've kind of lost track, uh, but it was updated just today. So if I go to the settings and if I go all the way down to uh, software update, you'll see that the video was uploaded on the 23rd of December. And it also says it was last checked. Actually, if you look over there, it says last app the update uh, was installed on December 23rd, 2018 at 9.41 a.m. So this is the latest of the beta that they have right now. And of course, if I go into the actual gallery over here, and if I tap on uh, this one here, you'll see that uh, there is a, this is the list of all the bug fixes that, that, that they have applied to this newest uh, beta update. So if you do want to read this, you can just pause the screen and take a look at it. But uh, the security patch level is still from December the 1st, uh, but the update is as of the 13th. Now, the one thing that I noticed with this new update is the overall stability and enhancement to the actual interface, plus a new couple of uh, bugs that were introduced that I have noticed here and there. But that's not a big deal. Uh, as they bring more and more betas, uh, everything is just becoming faster and faster on the smartphone. So again, if I go to the settings, you've got this new interface here. Uh, one thing I did notice that was brand new that was just added uh, was if you do go to the device care, which is the same thing as device maintenance. And if you tap on this button here, uh, I'm sorry, if you go to the battery and if you tap on this button here and go to the settings, uh, you'll notice that they now have adaptive battery, which is an Android Pie feature. So it's now in the actual uh, S9 and the S9 Plus, I'm not sure on the Note 9, I'm going to be checking that in a little bit as well. But if I do look at the Note 9 with the current beta, this one is not there. So adaptive battery is going to manage your battery for you in the background. Uh, the whole point is it's going to try to uh, prolong your battery life. Normally I don't use this because my battery life is just, just as good without it, but this feature is there now. But other than that, it's all the same stuff. This is the device care. You got the device maintenance. You got the storage options. Uh, you got the memory management here, the RAM manager. Uh, you've got the security of the device. Just cancel that for a minute. You can activate the uh, malware. But the biggest things uh, remain the same. You have the new navigation uh, styling over here, as you can see. Okay. And uh, you got all these things here that replicates the Android Pie interface, looks a little bit better. Of course, you've got new icons and everything. If you go into these, uh, any of these uh, Samsung apps, you'll notice that uh, everything has come down towards you. Uh, so you can actually start a conversation from here uh, just by tapping that, go to contacts from here at the bottom with one hand. If you bring down the uh, options here, let's kill that. Uh, options over here, everything can com come down towards you. Again, easy to use with one hand. If I tap here, pull it down towards you, boom, boom. Okay, it's all good to go. Of course, some other things really quickly I'm going to touch on. I'm not going to go into the details. I'm going to drop a link to the detailed video if you want to see everything. Uh, but this one is a quick overview of just uh, the beta and what's happening. Again, everything is smoother. If I do go into display, and if I turn on the night mode, you get this beautiful night mode. Notification shade that goes up night mode as well, which is great. And then, of course, all the menu items go black like this. And, of course, if you launch uh, apps that are designed by Samsung, that's also going to be black. So let me go back out here. Anyway, let's go back to the settings. Let me just turn this off really quickly. Uh, tap on uh, display and then turn off the night mode. And then if I go down, you've got the navigation bar and gestures. So you got navigation buttons. You got the full screen gestures, which is this. The buttons disappear. Swipe up to go home. Swipe up to bring up the multitasking pane. And if you're in a menu, swipe up to go back. Okay, these things are unchanged, but they're getting smoother and more uh, lag free as more and more betas are being released. All right, so that's a quick update for you guys for the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus update. Again. This was updated today on the 13th of December. And if I go into the uh, actual photos, here is what actually happened. So this is a full list of the bug fixes from here to here. You can pause the screen and take a look at it. All right. Again, if you are wondering when this is coming to your devices for United States owners, I know for a fact that we're going to be getting it on the S9, S9 Plus and the Note 8 
in 2019 January. So it's very close. Not quite sure what's, what's going to be happening with the other models, but this is what I know about the United States for now. As I get more updates, I'll give it to you guys. For now, have a fantastic day. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. All right, guys, have a fantastic day.